Make straight the path and fill our hearts with your light as we say, Come, Lord Jesus, come. Going to therapy can seem really scary and that process, you know, you're being vulnerable, but it's so beautiful on the other side. If you're really, really wanting change, you kind of have to go through it. My name is Christy Vega and I'm currently serving as a Veterans Resource Center Specialist. My main goal is just to make sure that our student veterans, anyone that walks through our door, that they feel loved and cared for and seen. The reason that I started therapy, I think the pandemic kind of compounded, but instead of like processing things, I kind of hold it in, hold it in. For me, if I let it go on for too long, it can manifest into like physical pain. I heard someone that I'm close to talk about Catholic Charities and my ears perked up and I was like, hey, I need that. Can you please refer me? Just need to work on my thought process and taking care of myself. So I try to wake up and then speak kindly to myself and I try to set an intention, like what I want for the day. And then just kind of taking some time to just sit in silence and not fill it immediately with like Instagram or social media. So just being calm. I really enjoy counseling. I think it's a beautiful thing. I do believe that, you know, God is love and that that should be our primary goal to grow and share love and, you know, just be loving. And I definitely feel that every session. The process was really easy. I was referred, I called, I received a phone call to do a phone intake, and then I was matched with an incredible counselor. Pretty easy. I think Catholic Charities just does a really good job of picking their people and training them. I believe that my counselor has helped me tremendously to move in a positive direction. She's doing such an incredible job of supporting me and I feel very cared for. To me, I think that's one of the biggest things to express love is just to hold space, truly to hold space and to be quiet and to just offer your full self and listening to them. I do believe it has helped and that I'm realizing that I am worthy of love, that I am destined for joy. My perspective is that each person is special and important, and I do think that, you know, the Holy Spirit resides in us, and so I'm taking care of myself, and I'm practicing my faith that way. God, grant me the peace of heart to say yes to your will in my life. Give me the courage and obedience to trust in you, as Mary did, even in moments of darkness. Allow me the patience to be still and quiet, to hear your whisper in my life above all other noise and distraction. God of peace, we seek you. May your peace fill our hearts and grace our lips so that we might reflect your hope for all the world. Amen.